Welcome back, everyone. First of all, let's give huge thanks to God for this beautiful weather and the opportunity to be outside one more time recording these reflections for you. So this week we find ourselves continuing in the chapter of Matthew, chapter 25. We're almost to the end of this gospel, right before Jesus is crucified. And remember, what he's sharing with us are some of the last words that he's sharing with his disciples and the people he was trying to lead before his death. How important are those last words? And this week, we hear a pretty familiar parable, the parable of the talent talents. The, in the parable, the, um, there are uh, people who are given different amounts of money and to go out to do something good with it. One goes out, makes five times the amount. One goes out, makes two times the amount. One goes out and buries it. So what are we supposed to learn from this? Let's pause first while you and your family read from the Gospel of Matthew and then we'll come back together and discuss the reflection. So this one, this parable is pretty clear. I think it's a, a little easier to figure out what is Jesus trying to tell us in this. I taught this to my kids so many times when they were growing up. To those whom much is given, much is expected. God gives us all so many gifts. And when he does, he is giving them to us so that we can be his hands and feet here on earth, so that we can do his work in this earthly kingdom. If you're going to take those gifts and talents and you're going to hide them, that's, you're not doing what God has intended for you to do. You're not doing what he has called you to do. He's giving you these gifts and talents so you can go out and make more of them, make more of them, do more with him, with them, than just holding on to them for yourself. So here's the weird thing when we reflect on this gospel. If I'm really going to understand it and I'm going to take it in and and make it part of myself, I have to really think about how great am I? What has God placed in me that is talented or good or unique? How am I great? This is not a thing that our society really calls us to think about because we're called to humility. It's different than humility. We can be humble and still know we're great. We can be humble and know that God has poured talents and gifts and ideas and creativity and opportunities into us for us to do his will here on earth. So your challenge this week is it's pretty short. This whole reflection is pretty short. Spend some time talking as a family. How are each one of you great? How are you gifted by God? What do your family members see in each other? And share those things and then talk about how can you as your, in your family use those out in the world? Don't hide your talents. Don't hide your gifts. Put them out into the world. That's how God created you. That's what he wanted for you. And that helps you fill that sense of purpose when you really begin to share all that God has given to you. This week, I also recommend that you watch a video from Father Mike Schmitz in Ascension Presents. I'll put a link to it down below, and you can also find a link on it if you click on the Virtues poster in the Google Classroom. It was a really great video, and I think you'll enjoy it as you have this family discussion. Okay, people, go out there and be great.